Hello, my name is Tilly. And my name is Connie. And my name is Billy. And together we are the Mindful Mates. And you are listening to the Elevated Table Talks. Guys, there's someone else here today. We have my beautiful little sister, Billy J. Do you want to introduce yourself a little bit? <laughs> um, so, Billy's nervous, yeah. so... I don't know how to answer this question. <laughs> okay, oh, so... I'm put on the spot in that one. Let's chat a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. So, Billy... I remember how nervous... Well, not nervous, but I remember how... Like, under pressure, that question. I know where you feel, yeah. so I feel like I'm feeling what Thanks, you Connie. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry. Sorry. We will answer for you. Okay, Billy is a, an, a self employed artist. She is a model. She is a creator. She is a business owner. She is a boss baby. A boss <laughs> <laughs> um, And she, she has come on the pod today to talk about creativity, starting her own business, yes. and all things. Billy J. <laughs> but not just the good sides of um, creating a business, but also the sides that people don't see and the sides that people struggle with but don't let on to know that you struggle well, with. It went really serious then. I know. <laughs> it's serious. This is a positive podcast, and <laughs> now it's not. Sorry, but first sorry. of all, we need to start with the happy news. Happy news! Do do. Do do. Do do. Um, so, it's my turn to the kind of So, um, I was going through, uh, I was researching a bit of happy news and um, I, I went past a few, something about a shark, something about... Baby shark, <laughs> something about an old man putting a song up saying he's friends, which I found quite funny, oh. but it wasn't as, as like, meaningful as this one. So, um, a woman in, that lives in California she donates. Uh, she donated more than seven thousand um, more than seven thousand five hundred pet oxygen masks after rescuing a dog from wildfires. Um, pet oxygen masks. Yeah. Like, did you even know? Because obviously big? the smoke and stuff like that, isn't it? So yeah. Oh. Like all of the animals that are in the smoke can't breathe. Oh yeah. my god! And oh human, no. uh, the human masks, like oxygen masks, they don't fit fully around the yeah. face. So, so it's like it seeps out the gaps rather than... Yeah, so these ones have got like extra rubber, rubber, like seals Stop on them. Stop it. I know. Um, so this lady, she's called Deborah Jo, and um, at first she worked as a medical tattoo artist for burn victims like firefighters before um, founding this non-profit Zen Foundation. And um, it was this Labrador retriever that she saved from a... Well, it was saved from a fire, but no one um, claimed the dog after it was put back in the oh. shelter. So she adopted it, and then um, whilst teaching pet first aid, uh, C- um, teaching people pet CPR in her spare time, she uh, founded this foundation. And now that in 2011, so now she's donated that many masks since oh, then. That's does so she make cute. them herself, or does she just um, donate them? No, no, she just donated them. But she recognised the fact that, like, it wasn't a thing, and these dogs, you know, these animals need it. It's not just dogs, all of that. It's uh, miniature pigs, guinea pigs, and iguan, and one iguana that showed it out. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but you wouldn't expect it in this country. Like, people here wouldn't know about it because no. it's not wildfires. It's, like, it's this country. country. Over there. No, California. No, it's in California. Oh, because they've had wildfires. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Clearly, I was listening, <laughs> as always. <laughs> So yeah, that's, oh, that's, 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 oh, that's, that's that is cute. I, I like yes. that. I like the ones with animals. Mm. You always come through with the ones with animals, <laughs> don't you? Close to your heart. Close <laughs> to your heart, kind of, you animal freak. <laughs> Jokes. Mm. Um, so, Billy, the good old Billster Rooster and the Tooster. <laughs> do, so, um, when did you start your business and how did it develop into what it is now? Paint by Billy J slash makeup by Billy J slash <laughs> everything else. Slash fun cases. Fun cases slash <laughs> everything. Warm you. Um, so makeup started about two years ago and that started off after I'd studied, finished studying musical theatre. I kind of decided that I need to go somewhere else. Like, this isn't for me. It's not my career. What do I do? 
Um, so I ended up getting into makeup, being a bit creative with colours and things like that. And then a year later, I took it a bit more serious and was like, right, this is the year. We're going to go for it. Um, did lots of different pieces every single day, posted every day. Used to go to college all day long and then come home and it can be 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night and sit and do a makeup, take it off and get up to college the next day again. Just for the pure fact of just having a post just to get my name out there. Yeah. Then after a while it started to pick up and then obviously I did all the other things with makeup like fashion week and um, magazine work and stuff like that which really helped push that bit further. And oh, make guys guys still guys in a magazine because you do my Halloween, Halloween, one. Halloween one. Cool. That was cool. And then painting I started at the beginning of lockdown in March. You had a transition between um Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So with makeup I started getting a bit creative with body art, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Kind of said, Oh, let's let's paint this, let's paint that. And did a few pieces for Remembrance Day and that's where we kind of began. Then Tilly said to me, why don't you try painting on a canvas? And I said, well, I can't draw. You weren't confident? <laughs> yeah, I cannot draw on paper and I still can't draw on paper mm -hmm. at all. So I was like, okay, what if I don't draw, what if I just paint it straight on? So then I painted my first canvas at the start of lockdown. In Which, March. Was that the giraffe one? The giraffe yeah, one, yeah. I was like, I'm just going to paint it for myself, I'm just going to paint it. And then started painting and I was like, ooh. And then, was it straight away you thought? I'm good at this. What, yeah. What's <laughs> yeah, I thought that, oh, I actually did all right on that. <laughs> Considering that was my first try, I thought, oh. And then everyone says to me, like, oh my God, that was your first piece. And I was like, yeah, that yeah. was my first one. Sometimes I look at it and I'm like, she did not paint that. I will not believe that she painted that. <laughs> and then I started experimenting with different pieces of art. So I did like animal work, landscape work. Um, loads of different things, sunsets, and then I was like, wow, I was like, landscape, landscape work is my, mm -hmm. my speciality. And then we, I was contacted by this man that said, look, I want to paint my bedroom for my daughter painted. And we were like, right, okay. Mm -hmm. And I said to my sister, I said, look, I said, I didn't have a choice. <laughs> yeah, I said, look, we're painting a wall. This is what we're painting. You need to tell us to draw. Too. Yeah, because I can't <laughs> draw. So I was like, I need to draw on this wall so I can paint it. And I, I had no idea kind of what I was going in for. She just said, we're painting something on a wall. Can you help me? And I was like, yeah, sure. Got us now. So I just picked up. Did you know when he messaged you? Did you, did you second, like, did you doubt yourself or anything? Like thinking, oh, I couldn't do that. Or yeah. Did you just think? Like, at the start, I sat there and I was like, oh my God, I thought I've never painted on that sky. At this point, I've painted about three canvases. <laughs> and I was like, I've never painted that sky. The canvas was about this big that I painted. And I was like, oh my God. Because they look so much bigger on Instagram. Yeah. It's and I, so thought, I thought, oh my God, I thought I'm just going to have to, just going to have to do it. But I always say to you, don't I? I always come across really confident, mm -hmm. like nothing fears me. But deep down, until you sat there, she was like, I can tell, she's nervous yeah. about this. <laughs> like, when, when we go and do something big, like, we did a body painting for a short film. Yeah. And I was, was that like, that animal yeah, thing? Yeah, snake print. And I was like, I'm a bit nervous, mm. but I'm okay, because Billy's brave, and she knows what to do. <laughs> and I'm supposed to be the big sister. Because you're cheating yourself. And I got in the car, I was like, oh my God, I was like, I don't want to go. And I was like, <laughs> If you don't want to go, then I don't want to go. I was like, I can't do There's it. nothing worse yeah. than making it that you're not confident and then yeah. telling Tilly. But then when I get there, I walk in and I'm like, I know what I'm doing. I yeah, do and before. she was like, I was like, Billy has no idea what she's doing, but she's pretending she is. Yeah, oh, exactly. <laughs> because we had no plans of no. what we was doing mm -hmm. at all. And I'd said to this woman, I was like, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Do I have like a brief or anything like that. Kind of, but I was, she was just like, I'll leave it to you because you're the expert. And I was like, <laughs> so I picked Tilly up at like four o'clock in the morning and I was like, can you plan before we get there? We're going to plan on the yeah. way there. And she was like, you're going to have to think something. And I was like, okay. I don't have an escape plan just in case it goes wrong. See, I'm not like that. Everyone always says I'm the most unprepared person because mm -hmm. if I plan a piece of art, it looks rubbish and mm -hmm. it goes, um, it don't really look. Wow, yeah. but if I'm just going right, I'm just going to chuck it together and just hope for the best. Go then I know go. that I've got the pressure to make mm -hmm. it look better. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she, the, I think me and Bill work well because Billy, um, <laughs> she can't draw, so I draw at all. And then she, she, we we can tell each other it's shit. Yeah, and we you do said tell that each other it's shit. Yeah. Like we're doing a painting now, and 
Billy's doing something and I'm like, you need yeah, to change, you need to change that. that. Or Billy will <laughs> say, no, I don't like that. We're, we're too honest. We say it very brutally. But then like... Yeah, but you need that if it's professional. Yeah, right? yeah. like the woman we're working for, she laughs at us because she goes, oh my God, you two are so, so <laughs> brutal with each other. We're like, yeah, but it works because being an artist, you get a lot of people say, oh, that's amazing, that's amazing, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. You never get anyone say, you need to improve this. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'll always say to you, well, I'll always send it to Silly and be like, what do you think of this? She's like, she'll circle the points that need improving. She's like, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this. I'd never see that because I just, I just, I don't know, I don't Yeah, you, you, like that. you don't. I'm like, oh yeah, that's, that's well. really good. And I'm like, are you joking, Connie? Like, it's, <laughs> can you not tell what is going on? It takes us to put that up. Because yeah. you was like up, down, up, down, <laughs> left, right. Well, we'll do a podcast and Connie's like, yeah, that looks good. I'm like, mm, no, it doesn't. We need to do that We need to change that bit again. <laughs> Basically. That is not me. So, so when did you, like, going back to the question, when did you, so when did it become a business? When did it go from this is for fun and then this is a business was it straight away with your makeup or um with my makeup it was about a year in because i knew that you can't make money from something that you're not good at you mm -hmm. have to i was rubbish at makeup at the start like when mm -hmm. i was younger tilly used to always have to do my makeup for the shows it was in it. and she hated it she used to jab me in the eyes <laughs> she was like, you've got such ugly eyes <laughs> and honestly, <laughs> but she says it to me now i do she <laughs> says i just can't do your eyes because she blinks so she has to open her eyes on me but you get to a point where you're like, okay, a lot of people have recognised it. I feel like now, now's the point I can pursue it as a business. Whereas my painting, straight away, like I made one and then people was like, oh, well, you're selling this. And then I didn't want to sell my original one, so I've kept my first very one. Mm -hmm. And then from that, I just, like, I don't create a piece of art and then sell it. All of my work is um ordered and then it's painted mm -hmm. and then it again if you want to keep a certain piece like that i've never painted a piece twice apart from once but that's mm -hmm. only because someone's seen it and gone i want that exact yeah. one again so that's the only time i've ever painted a piece twice because i always feel like i need a better piece and a better piece and a better mm -hmm. piece like it's progress you know I mean? for you and it, surely it'd be a bit tedious doing the yeah. same again. Yeah, because I wouldn't want two people to have the same piece of art. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, it's like a tattoo, it's like it's unique, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, so if someone says, oh, can you do this, can you do this, can you do this, I wouldn't, I'd stop selling that one piece. And I'd, yeah. Even if it's something different, like even if the animals are the same but the background's different, I'd always mm -hmm. make sure that something was a bit mm -hmm. not the same there. Mm -hmm. So with makeup, I didn't quite start it as a business, but then it proceeded into it, but painting it just kind of went that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Ah. <laughs> um, so next question. So, well, I'm not going to go in a in a line down here. But um, how how did you feel quitting your job? I forgot where you, no, I know where you worked. I mean, obviously, you don't understand. <laughs> but um, <laughs> how did you feel quitting your job? How long was you there? Um, so I did two days at a new college. Mm -hmm. um, where I was doing my makeup and I said this is what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. I did two days there and I hated it straight away. I said this isn't for me, I don't want to mm -hmm. do it. And I didn't tell anyone and I just went in and I went on oh, no, a withdrawal from my course. And then I went home. I remember d hearing it from family, oh by the way Billy's quit college and I was like what? Yeah. What, what was that? What course was it? It was me do hair and makeup but my next level and I got there and I was like this isn't for me, the people aren't for me, the course isn't for me, you can just sense no. It, can't you? Yeah. And everyone was like, oh just give it another week, like just try it out and I said no. I said I don't want it. I know this isn't right for me. And then I'd I'd gone in and I went, I want to withdraw. Got home and everyone went, why have you come home from college? I said I'm I've quit. I'm not going anymore. And everyone was like, what are you gonna do? And I said, don't know, yeah, I've not thought that bit through. And I thought, oh my god. I was driving home on the train on the way back and I thought, oh, what have I done? What have I done? Why have I done this for? But then I got my notebook out and I was like, right, I was like, I've got to get a plan together because I've, I've got to have an idea of what I'm going to do. <laughs> You're like, Tilly, love that because you would just get your planner out when you're on Yeah, there. yeah. You know, I was like, I've got to have a plan. I've got to go <laughs> home because I'm going to be shady today if I don't have a plan together. Yeah. What I'm going oh, yeah. to do. I'm to I've, now. Got, I've got to get a um, speech ready. <laughs> I don't know why I've left. <laughs> the, the print like it's bad that you feel like you you like you pressured to have a plan. You shouldn't have to. Have True. One. Are you sort of like that person that needs one? 
Yeah. Not because I would feel like you're pressured to. Yeah. 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 So then I was like, right, okay. Now I've done that. And everyone was like, you need a job. You need mm. to go to a job. And I was like, okay, I'll get a job. So I got a job in retail and did retail for about just under a year, about seven, eight months. And then um, I was building up things at this point. I said, I'll never do this for my rest of my life. And everyone had said to me there, you'll never be here for the rest of your life. Yeah. And they offered me roles to move up. But I said, no, mm. like this, this isn't where I'm going to be. I'm not going to be here forever. And then everyone was saying to me, just leave, just leave. You don't need it. You don't need to work there. Just leave. It's making you tired. It's this, it's this. Just leave. And I said, no. I said, it's not right yet. It's not right. Then I got up one morning and I got this feeling. I said, today's the day. <laughs> I had to remember you told me that. I literally woke up and I went, today's the day. I'm going to leave. I was, I was, you just texted me loads of things. She was like, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to, I'm going to quit my job. And I was like, <laughs> you were so quick. Yes! <laughs> I was like, go Billy, go Billy. I said, so who have you told? She was like, no, and I've just decided now. And I was like, you're like, right, that second day, I decided. Do you think, because this happened just after like the whole, the lockdown. Oh, the pressure of lockdown. It was the worst time I've ever worked in my life. It was absolutely horrendous. Like we literally would work so many hours without breaks because it would it would literally just kill you busy. off. Yeah, like we we had no staff to cover things, so it was so hard to just to work mm. in that place. So then I wrote my notice the same day, and everyone said to me, "Are you sure? I don't mm. think this is right for you. I don't think it's right to leave yet. You don't mm. have another job yet. It's not right." And I said, "No, that's it." Made my mind up. Do you think that um, the universe gave you, because you were working like hours and hours yeah. and hours, Ridiculous. gave you all those hours and all that money because it was like preparing you to leave so you had money to start? I think so, yeah. but at the same time, I kind of didn't use that money to start. No, but just like, just there, just in case. So you. I think it put me got... in the worst, in the worst place. Like, it, it made me work so hard to a point of exhaustion where I was like, right, that's it. Okay. Like, it pushed um, me that far to just tip me over the edge. Do you feel like, because you were so, like, probably physically and mentally tired working at your day job, do you feel like that really impacted on, like, you wasn't taking any 100%, sort of um, paintings or makeup? I kind of, I just got to the point where I didn't want to do anything. Like, I'd go home and I'd just want to sleep. That's yeah. all I'd want to do. And I said... So I printed off my notice that morning, handed it in, and everyone had said to me, we were waiting for the day. It was just a matter oh. of the day that was coming for yeah. to go. Yeah. So then I'd left, and then I got home and I thought, oh, I've done it again. <laughs> well, I've done it again. <laughs> so <laughs> she got no plan out. Again. Yeah, but you were too tired to make a plan. Honestly, <laughs> honestly. And I thought, you know what? The, the week after I'd left, I thought, this is the best week of my life. I can do things. I, I love that feeling. Mm -hmm. Wasn't it? Mm -hmm. like, and you was like, oh my God, you're a different person. Yeah. Like, I can see you. You're like, nice. Yeah. She's not nice now again, guys. She's <laughs> but, <magic. laughs> but it was like, and then I was sitting there and I was like, oh my God, like, I can actually just breathe and paint and yeah. take a break and go on holiday and everything else. So it was the best decision I ever made. And do you think that has creatively helped you? A lot because I can now in like I always work best in the morning whereas I used to work at half six in the yeah. morning. I can get up at four o'clock and paint a full canvas and sit there for five hours straight and paint a canvas. But if you ask me to paint at three o'clock in the afternoon you've got no chance. I'll mm -hmm. sit there for about ten minutes and that's so it. So that I'll job go. took that away from you? Yeah so I'd have to do it overnight. Yeah. And every night I'd be too tired and I'd struggle to paint. And then you'd be like, oh, it's not right, it's not right. Yeah. Are you a bit yeah. of a perfectionist? 100%. Even? 100%. Yeah. So if something's not right and somebody can say, oh, that's really good. And I'm like, no, it's, it's not right. <laughs> Something doesn't look right, but I don't know what it is. It's just not mm -hmm. right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, we are really bad perfectionists. Yeah. Put that together. <laughs> I think I'm worse than you. Like, you know, when we do a canvas and I'm like, no, we've got to do, I mean... A mural, and I'm yeah. like, no, we've got to do. It. You're like, it's no, it's good, and I'm like, no, 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 no. It's got the this details this. aren't there. We need to add this, this, this. <laughs> it would take us about, you know, a it month. Would, yeah. And in reality, now it's taken us six months because I just can't stop adding. Yeah. She's like, should we just have this? Should we just have this? Should we just have this? It's like when we did the Disney World one, and um, we had this nice tree that I painted, mm. and she had to come in and add about five hundred tiny little flowers on this tree. <laughs> that took forever to paint 
I was in there done, ready to go home. She was like, let me just paint these flowers, let me just paint these flowers. Mm. Like, Come on, I'm ready now. Come on, let's go. So what sort of tips or advice would you give to anyone that is wanting to quit their job and start their own business? Do it. Just, that's it. That's it. Number one. That's just, just do it. it. Just yeah. do it. That's all. Let's because you will never. I was lucky because I had a point, and it just felt right. But a lot of people don't pick up on that feeling. They just carry on. To them, it's a comfort blanket. To me, working that job was my comfort blanket, and it was like, okay, there's your weekly income. With my jobs, I don't get a weekly income. Mm -hmm. I'm not guaranteed that wage. With that job, I was guaranteed that wage. To that, mm -hmm. it was that I'd work. And that's what a lot of people are afraid of. They're afraid of, oh, I won't be able to pay my rent. I won't be able to do this. I won't be able to do that. And I'm like... You're in a place where you, you, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Like, mm. I've worked and got myself to a point that a couple of months ago, someone said to me three days before, do you want to fly to Marbella? Pay this, pay this, pay this, and we'll fly. Yeah. And that was it. I just paid it and went. Yeah. Which is so lucky because a lot of people that work a nine to five job can't just book holiday in three days. So how did, how did you get to that point financially where you were able to buy a £200 Versace top? <laughs> you did the leg. Oh, Connie, don't. Yeah, yeah, a what top? A Versace. Oh, my Versace, God. Versace, 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 Versace. That was £200. Why would yeah. you do that? Because law of attraction. Because it looked nice. Oh, and I did, no, it's because I went in the shop and my friend was like, oh, that's nice. And I was like, yeah, shall I buy it? They were like, yeah. And then I brought it. Mm -hmm. I bet it's a nice feeling to know that you can just do it. Yeah, it is. It is. But at the same time, a lot of people go, they go, why are you wasting your money? I'm like, I'm not. Yeah. You know money's coming, so you're able to spend Yeah, it. so if I if I know I've got to have a certain amount of money by this date, that money will be guaranteed there. Mm -hmm. And I will find any way possible to get it. So I'll advertise <laughs> more. <skin. laughs> <laughs> I'm Buy my paintings. <laughs> It's like if my <laughs> money If I've got a list of paintings to do, and I'll sit there, and in my head I'll go right. I need don't need to take any more orders, and I've got this list. I won't have any more orders in. If I get to three canvases before that list, I'll have ten more orders come in. Okay, I bet, yeah. So I'll advertise while I've got three more. I'm like, okay, buy a canvas. Then all of a sudden I get about ten messages saying, how much is this? How much is this? How much is this? Because to myself, I'm going okay. Got to put it out there that I need more work. I mean, the work. So, constantly. unintentionally, you are using the law of attraction to get your yeah, work. Yeah. So you're like, I'm buying this canvas and it's going to yeah. bring me this, 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 this. Yeah. So, um, what tips would you give people about starting their own business? What would you advise? Um, to be dedicated to it. Mm -hmm. You've really got to find the time to sit there and dedicate it to it. Whether you work a nine to five job now. And you've got to be prepared to sit there at four o'clock in the morning and work on this business. Because a lot of people, like a lot of people I used to used to know and things like that, like, oh, I want to be a makeup artist, or I want to do this business, I want to do this business. If you say to them, why haven't you done it? Oh, I just can't be bothered. I haven't got the time. I haven't got the time. And I sit there and go, nobody can tell me they don't have the time. Mm -hmm. I made time to make sure that I was going to make a success of it. Mm -hmm. And you've got to keep going and keep going and keep going. Even when you cr sit down and cry and you want to give it all up, which I've done many times. Yeah. I'll sit down and go, that's it, I'm done. I just want a normal job. <laughs> like, I've said it so many times, but I would never, ever, ever be able to go back to a normal job. Mm -hmm. And it's literally the fact of you've just got to do it. And you've just got to believe in yourself that you can do it. Mm -hmm. And this is, I feel like this is a good follow-on question, but like, what does success mean to you? Like, if you think, like, are you, are you a successful, like... Do you know what I mean? Or where are you going from there? Like where are you going from there? I know, I know. <laughs> Go on. What? What's your idea of success? My idea of success is to be the richest, one of the richest people on this earth. <laughs> like, really? Honestly, yeah. What would you like, What would you want? Like how do you see yourself in like to be earning five million a day? That and, is And like why would like you want the top of the top. Like that much money, like what would you To live a luxury mm -hmm. lifestyle, to literally yeah. do anything you want. People yeah. say money can't buy this, money can't buy that. If you want to go around the world trip tomorrow, money can buy you that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Money can't yeah. buy you happiness, don't Where's be the first book. place that you'd go? I've got a few. Oh. I'd like to go to Thailand. Oh. I'd also like to go to Japan. Japan is one of my top. Yeah. Australia, what happened to Australia? I, thought I would like to see Australia but it's not your priority anymore. Australia's a bit boring. <laughs> There's a lot of no Australia. Offense, but like, <laughs> no, 
I mean, like, when I'm a millionaire, I don't need Australia. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, like, the fact of, if you look at Japan's culture, I'd like to explore food. Mm. No, she would oh, just go with She cannot get to That's a me. big thing though over there. I know. I was the watching it. Dishes yeah, and stuff. I was watching an idiot abroad and I saw his China <laughs> one. I, like, I wouldn't eat that Yeah, yeah sh She'd be fine with the nearest I'm McDonald's. sure there's a McDonald's yeah. Yeah. Oh, would be <laughs> That would be my one. <laughs> but I'd like to go to. Um, there's an abandoned place in Japan called Dream Worlds. And oh, yeah. I've always, for years and years and years and years and years, always wanted to go there. Mm. And it's like, it's based in Disneyland, but the abandoned version of it. And okay. that's one place I've always said I wanted to go, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But places like that that are really strange. Yeah, I can imagine that. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what did what was the question we asked? Success. success. Yeah, what does the word success? Oh, yeah, okay. And also, success means buying her sister a farm. <laughs> Just loads of lambs. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. My own business. And a podcast room. Um, yeah, one in my mansion. <laughs> so, one. what is it like having your own business, being your own boss? What are, like you said earlier, the the bad parts of it, and the good parts? Um, the bad parts. Well, the good parts are you can work whenever you want, do whatever you want branch to wherever you want to go to if you've got your your mindset on something you can go and do it mm -hmm. whereas the bad sides of it is you're never guaranteed a wage mm -hmm. which one month you can sit there and have a couple of grand in your bank the next month you can sit there and go i haven't pulled on anything this month for you. so then how do you deal with that what, what would i don't allow it to get to that point i always have got i always um live by a rule of 12 steps so instead of saying, oh, I'm 10 steps ahead, you've got to be 12 steps ahead. To you've got to be those. To make up for if you eight steps beyond the next one. Yeah. <laughs> so you've always got to be prepared. And I've always got a plan for the next step in the business and where it's going to go. Whether it's something new I'm going to paint, like when I started off canvas, then I jumped to a wall, then to phone cases. Mm -hmm. There's always something next. So if one month it slips down a little bit, a new thing will pull it back up yeah. straight away. It's like um, with makeup, you bring out a new look or yeah. you bring out a new section to the brand. Mm -hmm. And you've always got to be those 12 steps ahead and make sure that you're, you're ready for the bad times and the bad months. Mm -hmm. And another thing that is bad about running your own business, you've always got to be motivated. You've Sorry, always got to be in a hole in my <laughs> Carry on. You've always got to be ready and dedicated to get off every morning and say, right, got to get this done, got to get this done. Because you can get to a point where you can go for a stage where you can sit there for a week and not do anything. And what how, what, what sort of things do you use to like motivate you and like, get your juices flowing? Get the juices flowing. Um, probably motivational speeches and watching what people success. success. Yeah. yeah. Like, the one person that I look up to the absolute most is The Rock. Ah, yeah, yeah, a lot of, yeah, a lot of people sit there and go, what? And I'm yeah. like, if you knew his journey, you'd sit there and you'd go, wow. Have you ever looked into Kevin Hart? Yeah. Kevin Hart reminds Kevin me a lot of well. you doing, he never stops. He's like this little bundle. Have of... you watched that thing on Netflix that just come on? What? What's it called? I don't know what it's called, but it's got Kevin Owen back to school or something like that. No, no. I haven't watched yeah, it. Yeah, and it's it's where like he's in college. Uh, he goes back to college to do his, I don't know what it's in America, it's called like, do you know, like the functional skills here. Oh, it's yeah. like a GD, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, in order to like get this next, to get this job and get out of his, um, day job, like his restaurant job, um, and then like it, it, everyone else passes when he's been learning, like learning the content for so long, and then um, he fails, and he doesn't get sad, he does it and keeps doing it, every time he comes out the room he's like, I failed again, <laughs> and he keeps on doing it like so many times, and then he's like, finally, he actually passes it, he never stops. I feel like that's me, I feel like I never mm. stop, 24 yeah. hours a day, yeah. always doing something. Yeah. And everyone's like, why don't you just have a break? Or why don't you just have a chill? And I'm like, no, don't have time to chill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got things to do. Mm -hmm. 
Um, um, sorry, on. carry on. Do you, do you think you um, like have a work-life balance? No. no. I'd like to say yeah, but definitely not. Mm, you do, you've got a good social life. Yeah, ish. Kind if, of. If you want to actually be social, like you choose not to if, be social yeah, for my work. Yeah, like I'd rather choose, if I've got a big job coming up and someone says, oh, do you want to go out? Like they're not before, I'm like, no. Like I've got these. Do you think that affects your relationships with people? A little bit, but I'm not a very sociable person. I am a bit, but not to the fact where yeah, you I've got a big, massive group of friends that I like to be around all the time. Mm. I'd rather keep myself to myself and have a lot of people that I know. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Rather than having, oh, I've got this like friend, this friend, this friend. Yeah. Yeah. I've got one best friend that's all that's stood me. by me forever. That, so that is me, everybody. That is me. Hey, but you, I guess because um, you have two sisters and like a brother, like you have, you'll always have friends there no matter what. Yeah. Like, yeah. So the same thing I say to these friends. two. Oh, should we go to like the Safari Park? They're like, yeah, let's go. Come on. Mm -hmm. I won't. I mean, <laughs> okay, let's go to the Blackfoot Museum. <laughs> yeah. Or Scarefest. Yes! <laughs> Not the one. So how do you switch off from work? How, how, or do you? You don't really ever switch off. You kind of always sit there and you're always thinking of the next 12 steps. But don't you think you need a point where you switch off or you will burn out? Yeah. And I've got to that point a few times, but it's so hard to, like, that's the bit that I always struggle with the most is Finding taking happens. a break. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because a lot of people say, oh, you need a break. And I'm like, take a I can't, out. I can't take a break. <laughs> just take a kick at me. Yeah. Just take a kick at me. <laughs> you know, I was, I was just about to reference Hamilton and then I realised neither of you. <laughs> I tried to, was, no. I tried to watch it. But <laughs> and you did it. Me. No. Stop it. Where did you get to? About the first 10 minutes, and then I had no idea what they were talking about, <laughs> so I just turned it off. <laughs> I knew that would be the answer. Um, and a quick question. Go on. How long is my painting going to take? Because <laughs> my wall's back. Con spa. I've <laughs> <laughs> meaning to ask that. The main team, right? The main team. It's the best mate I've ever painted in my life. This it's is going to be pain. one of the it's best paintings I've ever done. Looks really good. Honestly. <laughs> Isn't it? Mm. What did you think when I messaged you saying like, just I want sort of like snowed and like mountains sort of things? I just love it when people say, here's a bit of an idea, I just go, because I'm like, oh, <laughs> try something new. But doing a mountain was on one of my top ones to do, like a mountain, river, that mm. kind of vibe was my next thing to do, but I was like, oh. I was like that, that, that's my opportunity. That's not literally law of attraction though, you thought that and then... It came. Messages, yeah. Yeah. Can't spa. <laughs> so, I'm still trying to persuade Sam that it's going to look fine on the wall because he's like, if I don't like it, I'm not it now. I'm like, up. yes, you are. Because I'm telling you the wall. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're, so now we're into the creativity part. <laughs> so, what helps you creativity? What helps you <laughs> creatively flow and come up with all your ideas? Vince some bang off. You know, these answers are like, I'm shit. Oh, 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 as you come in. Vincent Van Gogh. Honestly, <laughs> he is like the biggest inspiration of my life. Have you been to Amsterdam Museum? Yes, I oh, have. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the reason I went to Amsterdam. To go and see. I cried. I didn't go. I literally cried. So dramatic. I saw his, I saw really? his name on the thing and I just cried. It's got like the big stairwell and I looked through the window. <laughs> you go down the big stairwell and then you go, it's got like six floors. And there's like pieces of art that like the size of like the wall, and you're like, wow, yeah, wow, yeah. Wow. So I would say don't take any photos, but I took a sneak picture. <laughs> <laughs> guys, that's <laughs> illegal, and she she's gonna get arrested. I have to, guys. I just have to. It was so, the bedroom. One. So so whenever <laughs> 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 I have to. It's the bedroom. So when when you're lacking creativity, you just think Vincent Van Gogh. <laughs> I'm like, no, actually, but yeah, because did you know you painted a new picture every single day? What? Like, you painted a brand new canvas every single day and finished it. That's ridiculous, isn't it? I think that's like the key to like creative geniuses because you know, Mo Mozo Mozak Mozak the orchestra. <laughs> oh, Mos I was gonna say Mozak. 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 Yeah, he wrote a piece of music every day. Every single day he music yeah 
<laughs> Literally. Every single day. Have you been to the Vatican? Nah. No. Go there. I haven't been to Rome. Go there. But yeah, so it's when I get to the point, I'm like, right, I've done my orders. I don't want to do any more. I just want to break. I just need something to push me that bit more. I'll just get a canvas and just paint whatever I want. Oh, whatever really? comes to mind. You know the wave one? The, the famous one everyone loves. The blue one? Yeah. That was one where I was having a bad day and I said I just need to paint something random. And I painted that. Oh, and then it sold. That and then I was gutted that it got sold because I wanted it to keep it. Really? <laughs> yeah. That is Guys, so rolled it. Did it? Because yeah. you put it on. I oh, know. <laughs> that is so good, the fact that uh, you still use your art as an escape. Escape. Because yeah. sometimes when people start a business, that things they love, then it becomes a tedious chore. and a yeah. chore, and you don't love it anymore. But it's so good yeah. that you still paint because a way of relaxing. Yeah, um, and if obviously people are listening and they're all about they're thinking about. They're trying to imagine what we're on about, obviously, if they go on to Instagram or whatever. Yeah, what emotion yeah, would you, oh, sorry, okay. what emotion would you say um, is, in that, is in that art? Because if he was having sort of a bit of a shit down. The wave right? one. Yeah. Because um, it sort of comes up, doesn't it? So it's yeah, a very way. overwhelmed by everything that was going on. Yeah. Very just kind of a bit of all over the place. But then, at the same time, I've also got a very emotional connection to water. Like mm, yeah, a very very emotional connection towards that's you. That's one of my happy places where if I literally just want to give the world up, I'll go in a pool. And the second I get out, that's it gone. Billy's a mermaid. She honestly, <laughs> I've never seen someone switch like Billy. Honestly, oh that's that's so. Do you think your your water pieces are the are you like connecting back to you? Yeah, I think so. But at the same time, I connect to a lot of my other pieces like. When you were saying about how do you feel emotional towards it, mm -hmm. to me, makeup and art isn't just, oh, it's just a bit of makeup, makes people look pretty. Art isn't it's just art, you know, it's just this, is that. It's an emotion. And like musicians express the way they feel through making their music, or do it through makeup, mm -hmm. through artwork. Like the points where. I've done one look where it's like the broken face mm -hmm. and it's about wearing a mask and people always say why are you wearing a mask of makeup for but it's not for the fact of to feel pretty to be confident it's the fact of I want to show an art make it's, it's, a, it's a form yeah. of art but a lot of people don't see it that way that's the thing I love mm -hmm. about you because like right now Billy's not wearing makeup at all so she 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 her business comfortable is in her own skin yeah yeah. But yet you, you literally only do it to express yourself. Yeah. You don't wear makeup because you feel like you're not beautiful without it or you're forced to wear it. You wear it to express mm -hmm. yourself. And uh, half the time, Billy has never got makeup on. I'll see mm -hmm. Billy without makeup. More than you do. And not it, like she doesn't even wear a bit of foundation. It's nothing. Mm -hmm. It's either nothing you or You've got such a good complexion though. Thanks. But yeah, it's literally it's like, like, sure, yeah. <laughs> She's trying to sell you a face. I face. always look at people's skin and I'm like, mm, mm. what am I doing tonight? He's <laughs> looking pretty, you know. Thanks. Yeah. It's all the water I drink. I don't drink water. Yeah, you, you're a coke addict. Coke addict. But not a cocaine addict. <laughs> coca cola addict. Um, oh. So, do you have days where you are creatively lacking? Yeah, and on those days I just go, don't force it. Take a break. Don't force it. Because wow. if you try and force it, you sit there and you're more critical and you go, you don't look right. There's, there's something wrong with it. And when you sit so long looking at a piece of art and then you take a step back and you go, okay, I need 10 minutes away. And you come back and you go, oh, that looks better than I thought it did. Mm -hmm. I can do this, 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 this. Sometimes you just need to just take it away. Is it like when you like endlessly type and you look at the words and you think is that even a word anymore? Mm -hmm. Is it like that? Yeah, it's a bit like that. And then you just have to take a break and you come back and you go, oh, I'm okay now. I find that with the podcast. Like, I've recorded it, edited it and I'm like, this is fucking <laughs> shit. I am not putting this online. And I'm like, well, we have nothing else to put on so I'm going to put it online. And then I go back <laughs> on the Sunday and listen to it and I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah that's so right. <laughs> Speak some facts there. And also when we do the murals, like you say to me, I'm done now. I can't do it. Yeah, gets to a point where I'm like, that's it. I'm, I'm finished. And then mm -hmm. I always look at it and think, oh, that's a pile of shit. And then I come back <laughs> the next day and I'm like, I've done all right there. <laughs> did I do 
there. You saw when we painted the skirt the other day and you went, oh, I don't like it. And I said, let's go. Came back and she went, looks alright actually. <laughs> I've done alright job on that. It's the first thing so that's How long does it take to paint a mural? Is it, it's totally dependent on what you're painting. Wow, the Disney mural felt like it took us six months. Mm -hmm. It felt like it took forever. But it was because there was so many details in it, like every bit of the And did you give the, like, the customer a date or like a... Um, well, that was the first wall I've ever painted. So you just, they just, you just so said, we look, just, oh, we're just going to do no, it and see what happens. No, we said that we'd done it before. Oh. <laughs> you know when I said confidence is key, Connie? I'm just confidence coming out. It was like, so, was they shocked that it was taking so long? Or? And no, because, like, obviously, we was in the middle of, like, a world pandemic. Yeah, kind of day. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it was kind of a bit like... <laughs> The we just gotta do when we can do it sort yeah. of thing. Yeah, like the paint ran out, we had to wait for it oh, to... Oh god, that was not... We yeah. ran out of white paint. You and could not get white paint anywhere. Because everyone <laughs> wanted to paint at home. <laughs> also, I like, he, a lot of he, he, <laughs> he was adding stuff too. He was like, oh, can you add this? Can you change this? Can you... Can you paint this so, wall as well? Yeah. So he, he kind of wasn't really bothered by it. Yeah. No. So it, it was okay, but yeah, we just kind of went, yeah, I've painted your walls before. I've never painted a wall in my life. So, b because of uh, starting your own business and quitting your job, and um, do you think that you've got a good support group and network around you that have always, like, supported you and egged you on? And how do you deal with people that are negative towards your choices and your art? Um, I've hundred percent got a big support group underneath me. Um. But it's people that you would never expect. I love how you say it underneath rather than around, so I Yeah, I know. <laughs> Connie literally <laughs> analyses everything we do and say. She'd be listening to this and <laughs> What did you analyse earlier? The, the what you analysed like the friggin' plant or something. Oh, is that true? No, you analysed something. Well, I said there was a root growing out of the plant. No, <laughs> you analysed <laughs> something and I was like, Connie, why are you analysing that? It doesn't even <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so whenever you say anything, Connie really is just thinking, hmm. But I'm surprised that it was that it was holding his weight. No, I can't remember. <laughs> it all comes to me. All come. I don't think it was a plan. But that oh, point reminds me of, um, you know, when you have beef noodles from the Chinese. <laughs> like, you know the bits at the bottom? <laughs> I do the beef noodles. What's the brown bits? Yeah. Oh my god, it actually does. It the does? Noodles. It does. No, it reminds me of that Bombay mix. Creativity. <laughs> We see a plant, Billy sees beef noodles. What's this stuff? Got the question there. Um, support system, support group. Underneath, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> it's like... <laughs> it's the people that you Duck. don't expect. Duck! <laughs> like, at all. <laughs> you might even say it's bad, couldn't you? You say it like I'm on top of everyone else. <laughs> well, if the shoe fits... <laughs> um, no, like, I genuinely I've got so many people around me that I just would never expect. People, strangers are closer to me than my actual friends. Strangers support you more than your friends will. Which is, you never learn 100%. How, unless you're in a business and then you go, whoa. Like, you thought the people that are really close to you that you've supported would support you back and they don't. Mm. I've even found that with this podcast. Yeah. It's true. And you don't realise it until after and people go, what? I've always supported you. Yeah. And then you look and you go, mm. Mm. it's just to share. Just literally share it and yeah. it will do yeah. so much for me. But literally. Like, keep comment, mm. write a review. People don't want to do mm -hmm. that. No. And I saw a post earlier about that saying how as soon as Kylie Jenner releases something, people buy it, share it. Oh my God. As soon as your friend releases something, it's too expensive. Mm -hmm. I don't want to buy that. I don't yeah. want to buy this. Yeah. That's so right. But, like, with my modelling, that's where I've met the most incredible people I've ever met in my life, is through modelling. And, oh, my God, like, some of the people I've met on event days and work with, they're literally like my family. They literally would do anything to help me. Mm -hmm. And it's those kind of people that support everything, they share absolutely everything, whether it's my art, my makeup, everything. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's helped me push through that bit more. Do you think that's because they've got a personal experience of it? I think so, because a lot of the people I've met have been in the game a long time. Yeah, and, they and obviously they started small, didn't they? So. Yeah, but a lot of them are a lot older than me, so they're like... Some are like 40, some mm. are the same age as me, some are like in their 20s, and they're like, 
this will help you, this mm. won't, avoid this, avoid these sort of people. Which is so nice, because at the end of the day they don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. They don't have to tell me their bad experiences they've had, but they don't want me to be put in that situation. So how do you deal with people that are not so positive about your business, your, your adventures? Your... Being more of a success. Oh, it pushes you to... Yeah, because I'm like, you know what, watch me. Prove them wrong. Absolutely sit there with your cup of tea <laughs> and watch me. <laughs> That'll be always cold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well done. Honestly though, I'll just sit down and go, just wait. Um, just wait. So, anytime someone gives you a negative comment, you're inside, you you don't react, you're just like, just wait. Just, just watch me, yeah. <laughs> but because anyone that talks about my name, they're going, oh, did you see this that Betty did? Blah, blah, blah. And they go, no, and then they go on my Instagram. Any, any, there you go. any criticism, mm -hmm. and no, any, any criticism comments is good because they talk about you. Talk name. about you. Yeah. Even if it's bad, people are going to check you out. Hundred percent. Carry on. Yeah. Ah, that is good. But it's so strange because people that people that I knew years ago that were really, really horrible to me, like I'm really nasty, and now sitting there going, "Oh, Bill, do you remember me, Bill?" And you sit there and you go, really? Yeah. Like people that used to absolutely revile to me, like hated every single bit of me. Now they sit there and they go, oh, I know. Well, I know. Get, get a little piece of that. Yeah. You'd be really <laughs> surprised. So, Billy was bullied a lot in school. Mm. So do, do you think that the bullying has affected you? 100%. Positively or negatively? Positive, positively every single time. Because I used to try and always fit in. I used to mm -hmm. want to dress like all the girls, I wanted to be the exact same, I wanted the same hair, the same everything. But I never fitted in. I wanted to be mm -hmm. in the in the big girl friendship group, I wanted to be that girl. And I never ever was. And now I sit here and go, I want to be the most different from any of you. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be like anyone. That's what's going to make you stand out. 100% because people turn around to me like when I was in a in the bar a few weeks ago. In the bar? This, 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 no bar. this person turned around to me and went, Oh my god, you're the girl that paints. You're the girl that paints walls, aren't you? Oh, you're the girl that does this, aren't you? I don't like, yeah, that's what that's, people that, come into your work and go, Oh, you're uh, Connie's friend. Uh, table talks. Yeah. That's what people call it. Table talks. I'm like, Yeah, that's me. But literally, that's like, it's so strange because people are like, Oh, you do that thing, don't you? Like, fair play to you. I've never seen anyone do that. And I'm like, Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. I'm glad nobody else does it. And that's why you can't see doing like new things and like, with like um, new paintings because you don't want it to be like all the yeah, same. Yeah, I don't want it to get old. It's always got to be something there. Oh, do you know what? I'm so glad that no one else is going to have a painting there. <laughs> it's going to be like, they won't. going to be like, like, on the street, can you try painting? <laughs> <laughs> Should be auctioning it off. <laughs> <laughs> like one of those fancy things and then Billy gets it you into are a shredder. You are going to do a single finger thing than that, yeah? Yeah, yeah she yeah, just makes me do painting. it too. Yeah. Mm. And everywhere we go. Do you yeah. know who, who said that to me the other day when they was like, I'm going to sell this? They were like, I'm going to sell it in a few years. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I was like, alright. <laughs> Make that money back. <laughs> so so how, how did you turn the, the, the negative bullying into a positive? Like, what, what were your... Um, it took a while. Like, it doesn't happen overnight. You have to just sit there and go... You kind of have to decide. If you'd have spoke to me a year ago, two years ago, no idea the person I was or what I wanted. Like, I didn't know who I was, but now I sit here and I go, I know what I want. I don't know exactly the path I'm going to get there. I will get there. And everyone will go, she did it like she said she was going to do it. Mm -hmm. Like, people always say, oh, you should never, you should never say out your dreams. You should never tell people what you're going to do. You should always do the action. And I'm like, why? Mm -hmm. Why should you not tell people what you want to do in life? Mm -hmm. So it's one of those where I used to sit there and go, I'm going to be a millionaire one day. And people li will literally sit there and laugh at me. And they'll be like, shut up, you fool. No one from... I'm pretty sure every millionaire probably said that. And yeah. Then they did it. Yeah. Like, so... They'll literally sit there and be like, no one from my is going to be a millionaire. Like, come on. <laughs> and then I sit there and go, just, just wait. Mm -hmm. Watch me do it. I have conversations with some about my family and I'm like, yeah, Billy's going to be a millionaire. And they're like, yeah, I know. Well, like, uh, if, if you just have said that about a year a ago, no one would have believed it. No. But I said no. Like, <laughs> I've always been like, Bill, yeah, you can do whatever you want. Mm. And when, I, when you've got the heart, you get a feeling in your gut. 
and it's uh, you can't even express the feeling mm -hmm. and you're like right this is it this is this this is the goal this is where i am gonna be and you don't stop for anything you can be tired you can absolutely have no sleep all night but if you know that one step you've just got to wait for that one thing and that one thing could be the next painting you do could be worth mm. millions and you'll never know until you've done it so you've just got to keep going and keep going and keep going to one day it's hit you and then you're like whoa so where are you going to be in 10 years <laughs> how old am i now 20, oh, 28. 28. Oh my god, we're 32. 33. <laughs> By 28, I will have. Put it out there, law of attraction, go on. <laughs> 10 years is a long time. Yeah. Like, in 10 years, I should not even be living in this country anymore. Oh no. I'll be living somewhere Jeez. in the sun, maybe retired. Like, just having people work for me. Basking. Making more sleep. Making more money in my sleep than I do when I'm awake. That's my goal in 10 years. <laughs> so, business-wise, what are you going to be doing? Bit of everything. <laughs> just do paintings. I'll be auctioned off. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'll be there, like, come on, roll it, roll it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'll always still do something, though. Because I don't want to be at a point where I'm just not doing anything anymore and I've just got other people doing things for me. You're always going to have a passion though to do yeah, something, aren't you? Yeah, you don't lose that. It will always be related to art. Mm. <laughs> so, sorry guys, um, the camera cut off and I could not remember for the life of me where we were. Hashtag take three. Hashtag take three. <laughs> Oh, I forgot the question again. No, I haven't. <laughs> okay. So, previously you mentioned that um, you fake confidence and you fake it till you make it. Yeah. What are some tips on doing that for that people? That is a tip. <laughs> yeah, but how do you fake it? Okay. So, mm, let me give you an example. London Fashion Week. Okay, when I did that. What um, did you? Sorry, let's just give them some go on. background. What is London? What did you do there? Um, I was one of the makeup artists at London Fashion Week. Mm -hmm. One of the most strangest, but incredible experience I've ever done in my life. And. Someone we both know, mm -hmm. our old director, messaged me and he was like, This man's looking for makeup artists. Give him a message. <laughs> and I was like, um, So I dropped this man a message and I said, Oh, my makeup artist, this is some of my work, da da da. And I said, Right, okay. Didn't really expect anything back from it because Fashion Week was the next week. Mm -hmm. So it was a bit late and I thought, Probably not going to hear anything. Three days before Fashion Week, I get a text saying, I want you on my team. Can you get to London in three days? And I was like, OK. <laughs> All right, then. And I was sitting there thinking, oh, my God. I had no idea. I'd never met this man before. Never met any of who else was going to be on the team. Didn't know anything. Just said, turn up at this location at this time. And this day, and this day, and this day, and this day. I was like, OK, then. So I'm sitting there, driving all the way to London, going, oh my god, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous, yeah. I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous. And then I get there, and I'll get into London a few hours early, so I just thought I'd have a bit of a walk around. Mm -hmm. But all the way there, I'd put my, my makeup on, so I know that if, if I was shy, I could just be like, yeah, this is me, mm -hmm. this is my skill, mm -hmm. in case I do a bad job, <laughs> then you can see that I'm actually <laughs> So I get there and I'm thinking, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And then I was just like, hi. And they were like, all these girls were like 20, 30, and there was me, 17. And I was like, oh my god. And they were like, oh, how old are you? And I'm like, 17. They were like, what? And I'm like, yeah. So I was just doing my thing, having a conversation. I was like, oh, I do this, 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 this. I do this full time, I do this full time. And they're like, wow, like, how are you only 17? And I was like, yeah. I was like, you literally got to make yourself seem so good. Mm -hmm. You've just got to be like, Walk in there at like, you've done all this before, you've done it a million times, you're used to working in this environment, you're used to working on celebrities, you know everything, you're just the one, is what you've got to act like. So do you use it in like your body language? Like do you 100%, like you've got to have a good outfit, if you've got a good outfit that you feel confident in, you're ready to walk in there and be like, yeah, this is me, mm -hmm. I'm ready. My mum always used to say, if you've got good hair and makeup, it doesn't matter what you're wearing. <laughs> Wait, me, you get so like, 
If I've got good makeup, it doesn't matter what my hair looks like. <laughs> Always. Yeah. My hair can be in a bun, but if I've got good makeup, people go, wow, look yeah. at their makeup. They're not, not looking at your hair. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's my tip for dancing. If you ever if you're ever doing a dance and you don't know what you're doing, play your face. Be like, You'll be alright. <laughs> and no one looks at your feet. People have been like to me, you're a really good dancer and I'm not. It's just because I play my face. I don't know what I'm doing in my feet, but I'm playing my face. Or if she doesn't know the dancer, she forgets it's just acts of character. She just comes to the middle of the stage, pretends that she is supposed to do that. And everyone looks at her like, what are you doing? Getting in the way. So that so that's do you use like positive self talk like I can do this I am good enough or not um or breathing I do it in breathe. my head I tend to like I sit there well you're not going to be sitting there at a the table full of people going I can do this <laughs> I am positive you would be surprised <laughs> oh. <laughs> I am worth it I am worth it everyone's like what the <laughs> is she alright okay no it's like um. Tend to when I'm quite nervous to do something before if I'm on my way there or before or a couple of days before I don't talk to anyone. I kind of sit quite quiet and everyone says, "You're right, yeah, just don't talk to me." Like right. contain your energy. Yeah, because if people start asking me questions, are you nervous? Are you all right? Are you scared? Really and I'm nervous. like, just stop talking to me. Don't yeah. ask me any questions at all. Just don't me. That me. Are you all right? Are you, do you need anything? Yeah. Do you want me to come? <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? And I'm just like, don't talk to me. I just need to just be in my own head. Mm -hmm. Just go for it. Because if sit people start saying, "Have you got this? Have you got that?" I'm like stressing me out, just making me think I haven't got it. No, just <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> so your your key is like silence. Yeah. And, and then I get energy. out there and I'm like, "Whoa, this is me. Breathe. Let all that energy, let all the nerves out and go." Mm -hmm. And then how do you afterwards deal with all that energy that I tell had everyone you down? <laughs> Post it on everything, tell everyone. I'm like, guess what I just did? <laughs> you know what I mean? I like, feel like I've got a, a little like piece of that because like I'll do something and then like I'll tell my mum or Karen and she's like, what you just done that? Like, okay, this is really random. This is segue of the day. Segue. I don't think I've done that really. I've done a segue. But, do you remember when I went for the um, fuck, what's it called? Uh, hydrotherapy thing when they put the tube up your bum and you flush out your car. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I paid for that. And uh, I had it done and I come back I'd and I'd never like, do that. You never guess what I just Either. did. And everyone's like, What, what is wrong? Do you want to get yeah, that done? What? Yeah, I just wanted my insides clean. Yeah. <laughs> like, Bill, she doesn't tell people she's doing this stuff. She's like, You, she yeah, just be quiet. Do and that. Then, do then boom, they're gone. It's yeah. like I moved yeah. out like a couple of weeks ago and then... Oh, you have moved out? Yeah. That's why you met the dog. <laughs> That's why I was at the dog, yeah. And then Tilly texted me, she was like, why haven't you told me you moved out? And I was like, oh, Yeah, so I have no idea, Connie. So <laughs> well, Connie started university, didn't tell me. She was like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm doing university. And I'm, like, you, I'm sorry, <laughs> what is going on? I just don't think it's a big deal. Johnny. That is me. Do you think over. that or do you think you're I feel like I haven't even talked to you. Today, <laughs> Johnny. Oh my god. You're laughing. Um keep snotting up. Me too. Do you think it's because you're unconsciously like keeping your energy in and you don't wanna meet people to make a fuss so then you don't feel nervous? Is it your way of I'm like, not nervous about it. No. I'll get, I'll get, um, I'll get like anxious about commitment, so I think that's probably why I don't like talking about oh, it. Oh, because then it becomes real, and then because the first thing people do is like, how long's that then? I'm like, can you show up? Because yeah. it's just how long as it's gonna be to leave me alone. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> like as long as it, I enjoy it, I'm alright. If I don't enjoy it, then then you do me, you do two days. So, then, yeah, so you think you don't tell people because then you're afraid that you'll think of the commitment and be like, yeah, I'm not doing this. You'll think um, about it too I think much. I'm just trying something new at the minute with the whole, um, I don't know, not, I mean, when I was in college and I changed colleges, I'd tell people, it's only college. After. But, um, <laughs> yeah, after. That was me. Yeah, yeah. So, Billy, do you want to um, leave your Instagrams, Facebooks, where people can find you, how they can connect to you and all your I have your just art. posted it. Yeah, go on the post because there's a lot to tag. So, yeah. There's a lot of accounts. Okay, well, just just tell us your main accounts where people can find you most active on. Instagram? Mm. <laughs> yeah, Instagram. <laughs> At makeup.billyj, paint.billy, underscore Billy J. And if you click on one of them, it's on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's Billy, B-I-L-L-I-E, 
Slash not a Y. J. She's not a Y like me. Not a Y. Billy and Tilly. <laughs> awful that was I know. so everybody uh, we hope you enjoyed this podcast this is our first special guest at the beginning i think we were all a bit nervous i was tripping over my words <laughs> you two were looking at me like deer and head go ahead no, I, could just, on, I could just feel the way that billy was feeling yeah because and she just dropped in she was like so who are you <laughs> Question. I mean, that's yeah. more of a big question than the one I deleted because she said that was a big question. Yeah. What question did you delete? Like how that's does Wonder Brown affect um, um, spiritually affect you or something? How funny is it that the question, the one question <laughs> that is, who are you? Billy was like, I can't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> how do I? T- I don't know what to say. You should have like, just said, "Ask me how to start a business." <laughs> I know everything. Ask me how to start a business. Go on. Who are you then? Explain now. You're comfortable. Who are you? <laughs> It's, I don't think you can say who you are. You can't describe who you right. are. Right, I'm just saying that you're business-wise, bitch. What do you mean <laughs> business-wise? I'm an artist. Just sum it up. Artist slash model. There we go. Because art falls into um, that category. Sorry. Go on. I keep interrupting you. Carry on. A question that they can answer for next week um, is... Who is Van Gogh? <laughs> <laughs> just drop Billy message and she'll know. Um, mm, we could go with sort of like who is your like influencer who is your creative influencer yeah or who is your creative inspiration or who inspires you who is your creative inspiration yeah that's my answer oh really after this podcast not creative inspiration but you are an inspiration (laughs) not creative that's a no (laughs) No, she's my, like, like, I look up to you now. Um, you want to meet business me? Business-wise. I feel like you've seen another side of me. I feel like yeah. we've never had this conversation. No, we haven't. Because we just normally talk about six. <laughs> you probably think that it, wouldn't, that it wouldn't go as deep as it did, but it did go deep because your face lit up half the time. Are you thinking, like, when you was like, what? I don't know, Betty. Yeah, yeah. because I, I've given her so much, like help but then also mm. like with my like law of attraction i've given her this stuff mm. but then she's also d- used it but not used it gone, the yeah. way you use it yeah because you know she's I mean? fucking not read the books i've given her or anything she just says yeah i'll read I them just don't have time to read six fuck you, i have Ronda. other things to do <laughs> fuck you Rhonda. fuck you <laughs> <laughs> I got that one. You got that one. I got that one. So you, you are you have inspired. I feel inspired by you. I feel like we're gonna go away from this podcast and be like, Connie, I've got any business idea. Honestly, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm crazy for it. We get the podcast moving up in the world. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what you were saying. Yeah. 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 I'm not doing the podcast anymore. I've changed my mind. <laughs> Who's your inspiration? Then you answer the question. Hmm. I don't. I don't think I really have one. It's not one that comes into my head. To be honest, I don't look. I don't like look at people or put them on a pedestal. And think, yeah, and think. Oh, I want to be like that. Oh, I don't. I, just, I feel like I just take bits from a few different yeah. people. And I'm like, oh, I like that of you. I like that mm. of you. And build into me. Do you know what me and Billy did the other day? Isn't how egotistical this is. Oh, we made each other tell each other what we liked about each other. So I said, you tell me what the best things about me And are. I gave her like 10 and I said to her, so what do you like about me? She went, um... She couldn't tell me, couldn't you? No. Well, she was like, I like how dedicated you are. <laughs> that is a big thing. Yeah, but come on, you are sisters, so... You can be I mean, I hope that list has grown by the weekend, Dilly Brown. <laughs> right, guys, the camera is dying, so we've got to go. Thank you for watching. <laughs> um, my beautiful sister, my beautiful best friend, and my beautiful myself. <laughs> um, honey, like, subscribe, give us a share. Go and check out paint.billy. We'll leave all the links <laughs> in the description. Go check them out. Go check them out. Leave her... A review, a like. 
review us as well. Yeah. We've only had one. We've only had one, and so, Billy hasn't reviewed us. Oh, you know when we were talking about friends supporting friends. <laughs> yeah, but have you ever reviewed Billy? No, she has not. <laughs> <laughs> that business has been up two years since. Jesus. Okay, I've shared everything. I've told you in the podcast. Oh, okay, let's not get into it. Okay, we're going to argue now. We're going <laughs> to fucking argue as shit. All right, everybody. Oh my God, did you drink the hot chocolate? Yeah, I did. Is it nice? We are soy milk. No, it wasn't soy milk. It wasn't soy milk. It was just water. It really wasn't that nice, sis. Well, oh, so that's, that's because it's supposed to have milk in it, like I said. <laughs> okay, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Woo. That was really fun. Right, Connie, do not touch the computer. <laughs>